What is being called a stunning move. Hundreds of homeowners learned today they will be spared from something that would have just killed their property values. Our Dan Tilkin explains how a plan to build a giant new power line from Castle Rock to Troutdale to keep all of our lights on suddenly died. This is about where the power lines would cross if they build it. When we interviewed Ray Richards in 2015, he was already seven years into his battle to save his property along the East Fork of the Lewis River from towers 15 stories tall carrying energized wires. It's got to go somewhere. Uh, maybe it doesn't have to go anywhere. Uh, the need has not been established to my satisfaction. But the Bonneville Power Administration gave every sign the line that ballooned to $700 million was essential. They couldn't do nothing. Our studies show that eventually we are not going to be able to, to handle that and the system will go down. That's, that's the anticipated effect of a no action alternative is that if you don't do anything, you live with the increased risk where eventually you have brownouts or blackouts. But last year, the head of the BPA said they'd look at other options like conservation and new technologies to stretch existing power supply. To many, it seemed like lip service until now. The announcement they can meet the demands on the power grid without building this 80 mile line through southwest Washington and Ray Richards' slice of heaven. Dan Tilkin, Coin 6 News.